Hey guys, um, this is the actual price of the very first Apple computer, $666.66. And of course we all know that the Apple logo has a bite taken out of it, out of an apple, which symbolizes Eve being tempted by the serpent. And you also have right here a serpent intertwining uh, this picture, you know. It's all just um, symbolism upon symbolism. And I found this random painting by Matthew Rodney. It's called Tray of Swords. And you can see um, you can see the devil coming down at the two domes. And then there's going to be a fight between the false prophet and, and whatever beast system that was the first woe. The first woe is the crazy alien invasion happening at San Onofre Power Plants where these two domes are. The second woe is the false prophet and the beast rising out of the out of the earth. This is the beast rising out of the sea. The second woe is the beast rising out of the earth. The third woe is Nibiru, taking it all over. And you see the rainbow right here. Um, anyway, that's just some small things. Um, if we look at um, Daniel nine, the gematria is thirty seven eighty nine. It says, "O Lord, hear! O Lord, forgive!" O Lord, hearken and do, defer not for thine own sake, O my God, for thy city and thy people are called by thy name. And then that equals 3789. In Gematria, you can outline the shapes, um, so it's a perfect triangle on top and on the bottom we have this section. So if we do 3789, which is Daniel 919, plus 13 by times um, 153. 153 is the amount of fish Jesus and his disciples caught in the sea in John 21. It's also a triangular number, just like 666. Um, but 13 is also a holy number. So when we add uh, the, Daniel, um, the Daniel boat, as you can see, it's the sail on top and the boat on the bottom, plus the uh, fishes in the sea, 13 times 153, we get the 5778 triangle. 5778 is um, supposedly the year of the end times. It's going to be around uh, 2017 slash 2018. I believe it'll be 2017. Anyway, um, then 13 times 153 is 1989. It's the first thousand digits if I conclude with the four digits. 1989. So Gematria is hidden in uh, the Bible constantly in ways like this. You have to think three-dimensionally, just like in that film Contact, um, well, which was a book by Carl Sagan. Acts 15.18 says, Known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world. He knows what's going to happen. This isn't a battle between God and the devil. God is allowing the devil to take the time to judge those who didn't believe in Jesus' mercy and grace, who aren't predestined to understand it. Um, so God, no, he, God created evil. Okay, God creates uh, the new world order. This is the first verse of the Bible right here. Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now, um, one of my favorite mathematicians found this, um, Stan... Ah, dang, I forgot his last name right now. But Stan Tenen, um, he didn't know Hebrew at all uh, at the time. He, he didn't uh, grow up learning it like I did at an Orthodox synagogue. I guess he was Reformed. But when he looked at the first verse of the whole Bible, he saw patterns. It, it looked more like a pattern, uh, numerical recognition, than a language type thing. So what he found was, you see these um, four sets of letters um, the base three letter pairs, so Resh, Resh, Lamed, Resh, that's the only time those letters appear. Then Tuf, Tuf, Vav, Tuf, and then He, He, Mem, He, and then Yud, Bet, Yud, Yud. Notice how it's always two, one, two, two, one, two, you know, two, one, two. Well, two as in the same letter as that first one, except for the last one. Because we don't count this first bet and the last sadi. The bet in beret sheet is supposed to be added on top of that sadi. The first letter is supposed to be added to the last letter to create a, a greater le letter. The first letter of the whole Hebrew alphabet, the large aleph right here. So when we take out the first and last letter of the first verse of the whole Bible, that creates the first letter of the whole Hebrew alphabet. And then in between we have a 
a two one two type um, ratio. What's what's even more interesting is that um, when you uh, take the Hebrew alphabet and put it in a trinary code instead of just binary, so you add two instead of just zero one one zero 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 one one, you add a two. And um, these pairs come in. These pairs just happen to be the opposite uh, of its previous letter. So, lamed in trinary is 102, and then resh in trinary is 201, the opposite. And you can do the same with vav and tuf, which is 210, and 012, mem and he, and yud and bet. So, it's not only showing that it knows trinary code, but it knows this 2212 code as well. And it knows how to combine. The, the graphic nature of Bet and Sadi to create the larger nature of the large alphabet, Aleph in the alphabet, um, the very first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Okay, this, this stuff is uh, just continuous and ever, ever expansive. You'll never not find something in the Bible if you but know where to look. Thank you.